And we're back, and Haley and I are in the studio with Repcolite's own Bob Trozak from the Plainfield Store. Bob, thanks for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. You've been on before. We've had we you have. off for a while. We were questioning <laughs> you for previous... I was in uh, timeout, yeah. Yeah, yeah I was in timeout for experiences. <laughs> no, we just weren't able to get you back, and you know, this time I wanted to reach out to you because I don't want to talk about paint. Okay. Is, you know, yep. Yep. of course, we are going to talk about paint. I mean, we will. But I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm, I'm obligated by my job requirement sure, to sure, get these yeah. things out there, and we have to talk about some paint. Yep. But what I want to talk to you specifically about are some board games. Yes. Yep. You know, we're hitting holiday season. People are starting to make Christmas purchases. Mm-hmm. And every year, you know, we talk about some board game recommendations. I love board games. It's not something I loved growing up because I only knew about the basics, sure. you know, Monopoly and stuff like that. And yep. Dad cheated. Oh and my god! He wasn't having fun unless we were crying. Is really what That's it boiled fair. down yeah. to. I really like that. Yeah, honestly, so that was my introduction to board games. Probably ten years or so ago, I found better, bigger board games. Oh yeah, that yep. Just tons of fun. I love talking about it because it's really been a great thing for my family. We've had yeah. loads of fun sitting around the table playing these games, and you host. The Board Game Shenanigans podcast, Correct. something you started a year ago. Yep, yep, in January of last year. Yep. All right, you co-host that with Natasha. And okay, just that's her name. That's what we give out on Not the Natasha, air. Natasha, yeah. Sure. I don't okay. want to give out her last name. Okay. You Do you give out her? her last name on the air? <laughs> she doesn't know, man. She doesn't need that kind of publicity. Are really? You kidding me? Like, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Is Natasha <laughs> even her real name? Yeah. Questions for the ages. I I just I only know her as Natasha. All right. I only know her as Natasha. <laughs> All right. That's awesome. Maybe she's one of those really, really, really famous people who don't need a last right, name. Right, exactly. Like Cher or Dan. Rock. Pretty, I'm pretty sure she's going to switch to just a symbol of some kind. Okay. I think that's cool. like a new status symbol. Yeah. 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 Or like a code yeah. name, you know, like Elon Musk's kid. I have Elon Musk code has names. a code name? He has like a kid that's like a bunch of letters. It's just letters. <laughs> well, that, that sounds about that sounds practical. About, right? That yeah. would be fun to say on air. Mm-hmm. That would be the thing. If you switch to a symbol, how would you introduce yourself to a podcast? You'd have to go to right. YouTube, as we have done, and you'd have to yes. hold that symbol up. Yeah, this is my see. name. Boom. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> anyway, you started that a year ago yep. or so, and you yep. guys talk about board games. Correct. Dig yes. into all kinds of stuff. So I thought, let's get you here to talk about it. But before we jump into that, yes. we've got to do our due diligence and talk about paint stuff. Now, a paint few, stuff, yep. few weeks ago, Haley and I talked about... Our favorite paint projects yeah, it's of all time. Yeah. We have never really had that conversation. We never really thought about it, to be honest. Right. Like, really... Thinking about what paint project has made the biggest impact was kind of challenging for a moment. I was like, I have no idea. Yeah. But the more I thought about it, mine ended up being a really small one, which was the door to the back of the house, which is the one that I come through. Yeah. But so, every day it just made a big difference. And that was Haley's. Mine was a basement repaint. It was just a block wall basement. Pretty junky. Pretty scary. Pretty scary. <laughs> and it made it less scary. The children <laughs> didn't mind being down there. It's like the Home Alone house with the like furnace or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yes. exactly like that. Yes. What's yours, Bob? I gave you about 15 minutes to think of this. Yeah. Uh, man, that's a good question. Because I don't think people automatically think paint's going to be this like life-changing thing. Mm-hmm. And the one thing I kept thinking about is we bought a new house in December of 19. We moved in. And okay. we kept the color scheme the way it was. And the entire time we were there, up until I painted it, it kind of felt like we were in somebody else's house. Sure. Uh, Been there, done that. Yeah, until – there you go. Until we (laughs) – The police came. I was escorted away. (laughs) But yours was different. You owned the house. Yeah, we did, yes. That's more cool. Yeah, we did have ownership papers. So it was just painting the house eventually made it feel like our own, if that makes sense. Well, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Room by room, did you do the outside? Uh, no, the outside's vinyl siding. I'm going to leave that as, right. as the inside is where it, the problem was to whoever painted it, they did all the trim cause it was natural, like woodwork mm-hmm. and they just slapped some paint on it. So I had to like scrape that all Oof. off, you know, it was kind of a, it was kind of a pain, but regardless, once we, once we painted it and we put up our colors that we like, not that their colors were bad. It just felt. Yeah. It went, no, it's, there's this change, right? Yeah. It's your own. Exactly. Yeah. It's intentional. Yep. 
There's a reason that you chose the colors yep. you chose. You're not yep. just living in something that someone else predecided for you. Correct. Yeah. yeah. There's like a whole different level of, it's the pride of ownership. I mean, that's what it yep. is. Yeah. Yeah. I think it takes the home to a different level at that point. Yeah, for sure. I do. I do want to talk about one, if it's okay, one other random thing that I did. Um, I guess. Go so for when it. I, Bob show. This so, is why you were in timeout. Dan didn't want to talk about paint, Bob. <laughs> well, okay. So was, the funny thing is I thought about that, and I was just like, you know, it transforms your home, and it turns it into your home. Because, yeah. again, like you said, that ownership piece. Yeah. The other thing I wanted to bring up was when I first got into paint back in uh, 2009, I had an apartment that we could actually paint. And I remember oh, getting a bunch yeah. of paint, and I remember painting – and it looked awful. It oh. was the worst paint job <laughs> like I have ever seen in my entire life. And I was so proud at how terrible it was. Like I was like, I did all this. And people would just be like, oh, OK. I mean, paint on the ceiling, just like everywhere. It was. This is why Bob works at awful. our plane field. They so don't they get his let expert you help. Oh, I'm much better now. I'm much better now. Yeah. <laughs> no, we all have to start somewhere, though, don't we? Right. I mean, and obviously. It, yeah, it was. Oh, well, man, it was awful. And like now I've just done it so much that I don't even like it's second nature now. right so yeah it's but See, it was funny that I really like I like the fact that you know people coming in you know your stuff back and forth no. that's why I can make that joke yes yeah. Right, Haley's thinking what are you doing <laughs> that's how I roll, Haley. no because he knows his stuff but really we all start somewhere you know yeah. I had a mom that did all kinds of painting mm -hmm. so at least I was exposed to it yeah and I knew a fair amount I, I mean I certainly knew that I didn't want to paint as much as mom did. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes every week the same room was redone. Oh, we never that did that as You understand. sample your colors ahead of time so yes. you know what you're getting. It's key. But yeah, you start and you learn and you don't have to knock it out of the park every single time. No, it's yeah. paint for your friends first. Ooh. So you know yeah, what you're doing. There you go. Then when you get to your house, you're good. The problem too is normally when you paint for your friends, there's usually some sort of like payment involved that involves like a case of beer. Can I say that? Yeah. Well, or like did, pizza. Bob. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they usually, you know, feed you. At they least. do something. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's, it's you don't funny. have to bring it yourself. No. You've always made me bring stuff like that. Well, that's because you have bad friends. <laughs> the, the problem is they don't really want painter. you there. Yeah. That's what that this, what the problem is. They're like, oh man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> If you're going to be here, at least bring pizza. We're going to have to raise his buy-in rate. Yes, yeah. exactly. Maybe Your he'll Dan tax. Yeah, the Dan tax. I love it. Yes. All right. Well, now I have a better understanding of my friends <laughs> and how that works. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. you know, we somebody had to tell you. Somebody has to tell you. <laughs> no, but well we us. all start somewhere. We don't have yeah. to be experts right off the bat. I mean, right. I'm sure you've talked to lots of people in the store who come in who are tackling their first project. Well, and I think the fact that I was so bad at it and I had to learn to be good at it, or at least I wanted to invest sure. the time yeah. to become proficient at it, gives me an opportunity to be able to talk to a customer who is, has hesitations with a project. Because then I can say, all right, it may seem overwhelming, but like you can do this and just give them some of those like little tips and tricks that I've just kind of picked up from just painting my own stuff. You know? Yeah. Put together so. a slideshow of your apartment paint. And then the next project. This is where I on. started. Yeah. Look where I'm at now. Oh, man. If I had pictures. You know. I don't know. I don't know. I think people would lose confidence in my ability to sell paint. <laughs> but you were still proud of it when you did it. Oh, man, I was because I did it. Like, it was my thing. I was like, man, look at this red kitchen. And I was oh, like, geez. man, this looks awful. But it's I did but it. But I did it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, I like that. I like yeah. it a lot. I think that should inspire most people to maybe avoid those color schemes. That was, I mean, that was a long time ago. Yeah, but so. to understand that you don't have to be an expert right off the bat. No. And you can no. jump in and you will learn. And yep. you will pick up the skills, and eventually, people will be paying you to help them. <laughs> Not like me, where I pay to help. Yes. All right. Bob, we have, we have gone way too long and way too deep into a topic I didn't even plan to talk about. So we're going to take a break, if you can wait with us. Sure. Because now I just increased your workload. We're going to have another segment on the other side where we're actually going to talk about Board games. games. Do you sure. cool with that? Yeah, I'm done. Yeah. All right. We'll be back in just a minute. I slurred all my words there, but you know what I was trying to say. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a minute. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> 